Hello everyone, it's Regina from The Cutting Cafe in The Cutting Cafe Shop. Um, even though ho the holidays aren't as close as we think they are, I wanted to show you guys a quick little project that you can use for birthdays and for the upcoming um, Christmas holiday. Recently, um, I announced that we are selling custom stamps over at The Cutting Cafe Shop. So, I decided to put together a few custom address address stamps for some of my family and friends and we have this new box over at the cutting cafe that is the perfect size to make um, a little gift assemble with some ink pads in it and a custom stamp so I'm going to show you real quick how to put the box together and then we're going to finish the one that we're going to be using basically the box is called gift box with dividers it comes two sizes a smaller size and as you can see there's a divider in here and it comes a larger size basically it comes like this and all you do is add adhesives on the side and I'm just going through this real quick because I'm going to show you um, we're going to actually finish making the other one I started you fold the sides over like this and the template comes with a window and it comes plain. For the window, you can add your acetate or clear cardstock. And you know, we sell clear cardstock over at the Cutting Cafe shop. There is a template inside the set that you can actually cut down that will fit inside the window. So basically, I'm just gonna kinda wing it here. You would go ahead and put I always put adhesive in here first on the corners like that. Then I go ahead and I stick this inside. And then I always add tape around here. Where is my tape? Oh. And another thing, if it's easier for you, you can actually do this first and then assemble the lid, which is probably what we should have did because it would make it a whole lot more easier to flatten up to flatten this down and then add tape don't worry if you're getting tape on the perforated lines actually it just helps those perforated lines to stay um, to be more secure so again you'd add that into the inside then you fold this back like this and then you'd have your clear window okay so I had already made that part with this um, paper. I love this paper. It is actually by Recollections. Very pretty pad. And you fold the, you assemble the bottom the exact same way. I did it in black. Okay, and then for the divider inside, it'll come just like this and it'll have perforations three, one in the middle and two on the sides. And they just fold like this and then like that and like that to get a good fold and then you want to put some adhesive in the middle here so you turn it over and you want to adhesive the middle part to close together like that and then you just close it and then it's up to you if you want this to be glued down or not you can add adhesive on here or you can just put it like that I'm going to go ahead and put some on here. And then you're going to put it in the middle of the box. Like that. Okay. And then you got like a little divider inside. So, like I said, this box is perfect for this little gift that we're going to be doing. So, I this is kind of a dummy address but I made this custom it says the cutting cafe and it just has craft lane craft California but the one that we're I'm going to be actually assembling this with or actually putting in the box is one that I made especially for my sister and what I did is I used one of our acrylic blocks that we sell and I used one of the handles that we sell and this handle is perfect to put on and off and I added it to the middle here and some of the tape came off there 
I've been pulling this one on and off all day. And then I take took the stamp and I put it on the back of here. Okay. And then I have a what her address is, but I'm not going to show that. And then I just added that on the back of here. Okay. And then what I did is so that when she's um, done stamping using this, I just cut it another piece of clear cardstock and I put it down inside the inside there. So then this little hamper part fits in there perfectly. And the small side is good. The small size is good for adding um, these little. Um, I guess you call it an eye. I call it an eye. Well, it's called a dewdrop. But you can actually add the little square ink pads in there or these. So I put a black one in here and then I put, um, oh actually they're both black. I was going to put like a colored one in here but I'm just going to do both blacks. And the larger one basically you could put a bigger size ink pad in it like a colored one or whatever you wanted to put and then you would put this on this other side. So we have that. Then we have the lid. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add some ribbon. I'm going to put this together really quick, this part. And then I want to show you there's two sentiments that come with this set. One that says just for you that you could um, use a Stampin' Up! tag punch if you own one or you can hand cut it and then there's another one that says a little something for you and it's really small. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this real quick and thanks for stopping by and like I said I know the holidays is not quite upon us but this would be a great gift to mass produce and you can literally get quite a few of them on um, our smallest custom stamp for $9.99. So you could do a whole bunch of them and this could be an extra little gift for someone or these could be great gifts for your people, um, place of business, neighbors, or what have you. So thanks again for stopping by and I'm gonna finish this up real quick.